have some people setting up in the uh, Roman Senate on the other end. Uh, that's where we'll start. And then we're just going to wander around the slides as uh, they are in order from the blue one down there all the way around. Um, I'm going to talk about student uh, organizations this evening and uh, what I find um, them, the reason for them to be important. Some students say that they don't have time to join uh, student associations while they're in graduate school. Um, it's really difficult sometimes for people to juggle work and school and adding another activity or obligation just adds stress to their already busy schedules. So. Um, I can understand how this particular view is held by some. After all, um, one of the reasons that we at SJSU are participating in distance learning is so that we can better uh, coordinate our employment and school and family uh, responsibilities. Australia is one of three universities in Adelaide in South Australia. Um, the other two universities are Flinders University and uh, the University of Adelaide itself. The University of South Australia has approximately 33,000 students. Just to introduce myself, um, I'm a careers advisor at UniSA. I'm also undertaking a part-time PhD um, looking at the use of the 3D virtual environment in the delivery of career services generally, and more specifically, um, looking at uh, improving students' employability skills and their ability to be able to articulate them, both um, during the recruitment process and also when they get out into the world of work. Career Services is currently developing a careers atrium on the virtual campus where students can access a range of resources and information in a format and at a time and at the place of their choosing. And I'm also an intern this semester at the San Francisco Exploratorium Museum in their media archive. So I have some, uh, thanks uh, Sequoia, I have some things to share with you about audio uh, preservation, audio digitization and preservation and uh, what it's like to work as an intern and gain some of these digital preservation skills. Audio recordings exist on wax cylinders, reel-to-reel -reel magnetic tapes, vinyl records, compact cassettes, and CDs, to name just a few of the more well-known formats. And each of these formats have specific preservation concerns. Career search for myself, another position. And uh, with that in mind, I decided I would do a quick analysis of what kind of skills, talents, are required to get an archives job today. Something else that's been really useful for us and kind of surprising for me is showcasing the profession. Some of our most popular posts, especially on Facebook, but a little bit on Tumblr, have been posts that have to do with the actual behind the scenes kind of things in archives. So we had a large palletizing project and we posted a photo album of photos from that. Um, along with a blog or just posting pictures of our staff processing records or a video or an audio podcast of what we've been doing lately and what interests us are incredibly popular, especially with genealogists and those researchers that we see frequently and those that seem to be very interested in the profession.